Hi guys, over the last few weeks I saw a few times uh, questions online about element not clickable at point exception and how to fix it and usually when I encounter this question uh, there are a few possible solutions uh, but it's not always good explanation why exactly this happens and why there are so many different solutions and which one should you choose? Should you try all of them? Is there one specific that you need to try from all those different solutions? So I decided to record this video, uh, reproduce this exception and help you understand why it happens. And then based on why this exception happens for your specific case, then you can uh, figure out what solution will work for you. Um, so uh, I already created a code, uh, one simple test case uh, to click on the link that's supposed to throw element not clickable exception. And let me first show you how do I uh, reproduce this exception. So first of all, uh, my name is Dmitry and I teach test automation. Um, I have a bunch of courses and I actually used um, courses page on my website to reproduce this error. So in our test case, we will open this page courses and we will try to click on this Enroll for just 99 on Teachable. Uh, and as you saw, uh, 15 seconds after we open this page, uh, we have this pop-up, uh, Xpath Cheat Sheet, uh, subscribe and get free Xpath Cheat Sheet. So this is actually going to be the problem. And this pop-up will be the reason why our test will fail. But, uh, so... Uh, the steps for our test would be open this page, wait for 15 seconds so this pop-up shows up, and then click on this enroll button. Uh, and after we execute those actions, we will need to verify two things. First of all, that new tab is opened and the URL of the new tab. Now, let me go to the code. So, I am using Java with test ng. Uh, this is what I teach for the Selenium courses. And I also described steps here. In the info section below this video, I will attach the link to GitHub with this code. If, if you want to uh, see and copy it. But let me show you the steps here. So first step is to open the URL. And I do have um, set up and tear down methods where uh, I create new Chrome driver. So it's not part of the test, it's um, extracted into separate setup method. So the first step of the test is to open the page, um, just sleep to wait for that pop-up. It's not a good practice. Uh, in, in real example, we shouldn't use sleep at all. Uh, but in this case, I just know that it takes 15 seconds, so I added two more just in case. Uh, and then we click on this uh, image. Actually, uh, let's go here. So we are not actually clicking on the button, we're clicking on the image, which also uh, um, works exactly the same as the button. So we click on this image, not, not the button. I misspoke before. Now, back to the code. So we click on this image, uh, then we another sleep for five seconds for the new page to load. And so first verification, we are making sure there are two tabs instead of one. So we are getting window handles and making sure that the size of this uh, set is two, not the one. Then we switch to new window and I have separate method to switch. Um, doesn't really matter for this um, for this test since we are trying to reproduce exception, not, not to verify, uh, not to create actual test case, not to automate actual test case, but um, I did it to the end anyways. And then we are getting the URL of the new window and making sure that URL contains uh, this stuff. So let's just run this test and see the exception. 
So because I'm using test ng, I will use this uh, debug XML test suite file, which I created to run this one test. So let me right click, run as test ng. Um, also, uh, because I'm using two screens and I am recording on my secondary screen, you do not see the actual browser window because it's, it's on a different screen, but I do see it. So now um, we are waiting for 15 seconds. Um, after that, uh, Selenium will try to click the image and test will fail. So test failed, as you see, test total test run one, failed one. Now let me switch to uh, test ng results and let's review the results. So test failed with element click intercepted exception. Element click intercepted, element, blah, blah, blah. Let me scroll here. And actually, because the element is too big, it doesn't print the full message for some reason. Um, but yeah, so problem is element is not clickable at point. Uh, this message is not full, but it tried to click on this element, but it could not. Now let's, let's actually open this class for this error in our browser. So as you see, element not element click intercepted exception, and I believe it used to be element not clickable exception. Uh, it's, it's part of the Selenium library, it's specific to the Selenium, and you can read about this exception here on this page. But um, let me try and explain why it happens. Um, so if element is not visible, you will get element not visible exception. Um, if element is not on a page at all, you will get uh, element not found exception and not found will actually happen, will happen uh, here and not here. So our exception happened on the click and not here. Uh, how do I know this? because I can actually uh, look at the stack trace. So let me scroll down. Let's see, okay, so here, practice text automation, line 27. You see, courses link test.java 27. So exception happened here. Now, how do I usually go about uh, finding out the actual reason why it happened? So I, I know already, but uh, when you uh, get this error the first time, uh, here what you need to do, what I usually do. First of all, in the stack trace, figure out where exactly error happens. So for me, it happened here. So Selenium was able to find element, but not, wasn't able to click on the element. And in order to fix our problem, we need to first figure out why Selenium could not click at this element. So what I will do, I will put the breakpoint and I, when I record lectures, I usually change the screen size for you guys to see, for you guys to better see. So I increase the size of the window to 150, but in order to reproduce this, let me switch back to 100. Now it's going to be a little bit more difficult to see the code, uh, but it should be better for you. But it should be better for you to see the reason why why it fell. So let me try it again. Right click, debug as, test ng, and now I will bring the Selenium window here in its actual size. So this is the size of the window where, when I run test. Uh, now test is waiting for 70 seconds, 17 seconds for the pop-up to show. Here's the pop-up. And now I remember my decision switch. And now we stopped here. So test um, did not fail yet. It's still running. It's basically on pause. And now let me execute this click command. But before I execute it, let me actually look at the screen. So I know that I want to click on this image. And as you see, with this window size, image is hidden behind this pop-up. And I already know the reason. 
why uh, test will fail. Because Selenium sees uh, the element on the page. It can find the element and it sees that element is visible. But when it tries to click on this image, the click goes to this pop-up instead of element. So let me execute this step over to actually click. And exception happens. So now let me just uh, resume test execution. Test failed. But as you saw, uh, if we change the size of, of our page to this, then this image is being hidden by this pop-up. And that's why test fails. It, it, when it tries to click on the image, the click goes to this pop-up. And that's the reason in this specific case. So before trying to fix this problem, you need to debug and understand why exactly error happens. And now let me explain how to fix this problem in my case and in some other cases. Also, I will try to show you a um, few other, maybe not show, but explain few other reason, reasons when you can encounter this problem. So how do I fix this error in my case? As you probably guessed, as you saw, when my browser is opened this way, this pop-ups hides the link or hides this image with the link. But if I increase the size of my browser or if I will make it full screen, then the link is no long, uh, the image is no longer hidden behind this pop-up. So the click should work. So let's try it. Let me go back to the code. And if I scroll to my um, setup method, you can actually see here that I specifically set the size of the window to 1000 and 1080. And I did it to be able to reproduce this error. But if I comment out this line and we'll change the window size to 1920 by 1080, the browser will open in the full screen and test should work. So let me try, right click, run as, test in G Suite. And let me bring the browser. So now the browser is in the full screen. So when pop up shows up, it's gonna be here in the lower uh, right corner of the, of the browser window. So let's see. Okay, so click happened, new tab opened, and test test. So in my case, uh, I did not need to, let me, let me go here. So in my case, I didn't need to use actions. Uh, I didn't need to do JavaScript executor. I didn't need to try, I didn't need to use additional weight. And I didn't need to use expected condition for visibility or element to be clickable. None of those would work for me. And actually, none of this solution would work. Maybe except, uh, maybe except this, but I believe my element is in view in this case. It's just hidden. And scroll into view will help if element is out of view. Uh, for example, if I needed to click on the second element and it was out of view, then it would scroll. But I don't think it would scroll if it's already in the view. So Selenium considers this image in the view. With this window size and with this window size. It's in the view. It's hidden be behind other elements, but it's in view. So in my case, I had to expand my browser screen, browser size to fix this error. This scroll into view would actually help 
in other cases, and let me try to, oh, actually this page is a good example. Um, let's say, let's scroll up and let's say we want to click on some button which is here below, like this viewport link, not the button, but this link. So if we just open this page, that link is not here. So when Selenium, uh, Selenium can find this link on the page, if it's in the HTML on load, and when you execute click, Selenium will automatically scroll to this link. Now, depending on what browser you use, I believe some browser browsers will scroll this link to the top before trying to click. And some will scroll it like this. So as soon as it's visible, the browser browser will try to click on this link. So you may have this element not clickable at point exception in some browsers, but not other on the same page in, inside of the basically the same test case. Now, what can happen, what uh, I had experienced in my uh, past is look at this header with, uh, with the Stack Overflow logo and this uh, few buttons here. Uh, it's, it's not moving, it stays here. So this header is basically floating on the page. You scroll the page, but the header stays. And I had this problem where this view, wherever you can scroll up and down, was not ending here at the border with the header. It was actually ending here at the end of the browser. So um, header was hiding some of the elements behind the header. And in those browsers that scroll link on top, they would not stop here and try to click on element. That they, they would scroll it over here like this and then would try to click and I would get element click intercepted exception try to click on one element but actually clicked on this search so when I look at the screenshots I see this I mean I, I would see in, in this specific case I would see this um, auto suggest opened so click would happen on this auto suggest. The test would fail. Auto suggest will open, uh, but this viewport link would not be opened. So in this case, again, you have to debug your test to see what exactly happens. And so the solution I did for this to work, I was basically trying to catch. Uh, element click intercepted exception. So if this button that I'm trying to click is visible, the click would happen. If it's not visible like this, the browser will automatically scroll and then try to click. And if exception gonna happen, and if it's element click intercepted exception, I would catch this exception and then I would use um, uh, I, I would use JavaScript executor, but instead of scroll into view, I would just uh, use scroll to and then uh, send the coordinates. So basically, if exception happens, then I will scroll a little bit up, like 50 or 100 pixels up, and then try clicking again. So that was my solution. And exactly as you see exactly the same problem can have many different solutions and in order to find the solution that will work for you instead of trying all this randomly all you have to do is put the breakpoint and run your test and see what exactly happens when you're trying to click most of the times or maybe even all of the times, this exception will, will happen if some other element obscures your element on the page. Like this pop-up or, or maybe, maybe moving a header like this or some other element. That's what usually happens with this element click intercepted exception and you need to debug 
to find the correct way to fix your specific test. And that's it for now. That's the end of this uh, video. Uh, if you like the way I show how to handle exceptions and the way I teach, um, just go and check out my courses. You can buy them on Udemy. Um, but the prices on Udemy can be different depending on on what promotion Udemy runs. As you see, currently it's eleven ninety nine. But you can also buy my courses on Teachable. Exactly the same courses, exactly the same content. But the prices on Teachable are always nine ninety nine plus plus taxes. And you can also read the reviews here or on Udemy. Read the reviews of my courses to see what other students say about my courses.